Uh, okay. 203 was the race to Starbucks. It's a big issue in America, race relations. And this Starbucks CEO, the main exec at Starbucks, his name is Howard Schultz, uh, he wants his baristas, the coffee makers, to talk about race relations with the customers. Sounds like a crazy idea, but he wanted to do that, and they tried it for a week. Um, their theme, their slogan was Race Together, uh, bringing the races, black, white, yellow, brown, green, red, whatever, bringing everybody together. Uh, they made a mistake. I strongly suggest that we say in for this because it's not on Sunday. It's not on Monday. It's actually in addition. So this happens to Americans, I guess, sometimes. It seems like a careless mistake, but in an addition, that's the appropriate preposition. Um, and there was another one too. Yes, thousands of employees. Make sure that we do say of. Thousands of employees. One other thing. When Schultz was saying this, he says, if a customer asks you what this is, actually it was very difficult to hear his S, and I emphasized that we do need to say the S. Uh, but then when I made the recording, I listened again, and I noticed that even my S was very difficult to hear. Uh, so when you say this, keep the S clean, as clean as possible. Um, it does kind of, it, I guess it's possible to disappear a little bit, uh, but it shouldn't. It should definitely be there. Uh, I went to Starbucks to see if they would put race together on my cup, and they did not. Uh, however, we have another student who lives in Florida, and he went to a Starbucks in Florida, and they did put race together on his cup. And he shared a picture on our Google Plus community. Um, I hope you saw that. If you didn't, I'll show you that picture a little bit later. Um, but once again, the initiative, the campaign ended. And uh, many Americans were a little bit, well, not angry, but disappointed in Starbucks. It's not the type of thing people want. They want coffee. They don't want to talk about race relations. Reputation, tackling, tough issues, taking on, campaign, excellent, excellent words. If you like coffee, you need to know barista, the baristas. This is a barista to broach. Uh, once again, initiative, launched, add, the text. Uh, much like it, very similar to it. Addition, company-wide, great, great words. Implementation, resulting, tensions, very important words. I'm going to close that, don't save, close that, don't save. And now we're going to go to Seinfeld, 202 and 204. Uh, George is talking to Gary, and Gary is sorry that he didn't tell George that he had, uh, excuse me, i got to call just a second, sorry. Who is calling me? Call. All right, sorry about that. Moscow calling. Max, stop calling me. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, talking about, yeah, uh, that he didn't tell George that he had cancer, so that was uh, made him quite angry. Um, and then we find out that Gary actually never had cancer. He was living a lie, which is a, kind of a funny uh, situation, but actually a really horrible situation, very terrible. Um, Elaine finds out, uh, she goes to the uh, bookstore actually in the end, but uh, she finds out that Kramer said hi to her ex-boyfriend, Jake, and she was very angry. Um, so she decides to go to the bookstore to see Jake Jarmel. Um, and then George comes back to Gary's house, and Gary discovers that George knows a secret. And uh, George has no poker face. 
Not even a pair of bullets. George has a full house. And we find out Gary Fogle never had cancer. Great expression. Great expressions again. My meter's up. Buck's living a lie. Tell me about it. Soul sister. Common courtesy. Just really excellent, very common expressions. If you like poker, a uh, pair of bullets, upper hand, flush, all good stuff. And let me go to 204. Elaine is talking to Jake, telling him that uh, she didn't say hi. And uh, Jake says, you still like me, don't you? And uh, I think Elaine definitely does still like him. George explains that there was no cancer. There never was cancer. Jerry is very angry. Jerry wants to talk to Gary. Jerry bought an unlimited gift certificate which can be very, very expensive for Gary because he would be losing his hair with chemo treatments. Uh, so Jerry's very angry about this. But George says, don't tell him anything. Maintain the same disposition because George is getting free parking. Jerry is not happy. Jerry goes to meet Gary the next day, and he sees that Gary has new hair. It's from his gift certificate. Gary starts chit-chatting about fillings, saying how mercury's toxic. Jerry's going angry, but he remembers George. You be nice. You be nice. You be nice. Kramer comes in. He's wearing an eye patch, like a pirate. Kramer was stagnating. He's changing his new look. And uh, it's not going too well. And we're going to find out what happens with Kramer. We're going to find out what happens with Jerry and Gary. We're going to find out what happens with Elaine and Jake. All in the future. Uh, vocabulary. Took it upon himself to do something. Very good. Unauthorized. So you're saying, you're telling me a gesture. This dog is petting. This deer, it's a very nice gesture. It's a gesture of kindness. It's a gesture of love. Revealed hair team for men. Actually, it's hair club for men. To put somebody's mind at ease. Good expression. For practically nothing. Excellent expression. Uh, to maintain the same disposition. To come through. To help somebody when they need it. To take advantage of something, to get rid of something. Fillings, these are fillings. I hope none of you have mercury fillings. Toxic, poisonous, you're loaded, uh, can mean you're rich. Check this out, Jack. Watch this, buddy. This is the idea. So, I will take questions from any of our DDM exercises, 201, 202, 203, 204. Any questions from anybody? I have to go to the chat room. I see there's lots of chat activity. Uh, Mikhail has a question here. I'm going to write it down right here. Uh, British and Ang uh, British and American pronunciation. Well, this is going to be tough for me because I, I I don't really know, but I can guess. So in America, the typical pronunciation new few crew issue so this is the only different one um, so I'll move this out um, so so basically new crew issue new crew issue shoe issue new crew issue few um, wait, wait a second I have to think about that new crew issue few yeah I think I'll put these two together yeah uh, British pronunciation new new crew. Uh, I think new might go with these for the British pronunciation. Few, issue. Oh, yeah, I'm just guessing, uh, Mikhail. Uh, so American pronunciation. Uh, let me, you're right. Is that right? Right. New crew, uh, issue, few. Uh, in American, uh, new crew, issue, few. Yeah. Something yeah. like this. That's pretty but crazy. I, yes, it's possibly the difference between American and British. 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, there, there really are many differences. And I'll tell you something else, Mikhail. What's really dangerous is uh, Scottish pronunciation is different. And even within England, Manchester is different from London. So uh, following a particular pronunciation is very different. However, yes. if we talk about standard American and standard British, um, yes, I am. I mean the standard American, standard British. Yes. Received yes. pronunciation possibly it's right definition for yes. standard British. Very good. But uh, I learn in school only received pronunciation, but it's the British style, new. right? Yes, it's new for me. The American pronunciation new. You know, Mikhail, I understand, I know you're in Bel Belarus, but I understand uh, lots of people in, in Russia and Belarus, uh, they studied the standard pronunciation, the, I'm sorry, the received pronunciation, right? Right, I, I think in Europe, uh, two only received pronunciation, received pronunciation. Yeah, the damn queen, she's ruining mm. everybody's English. <laughs> I'm all books in uh, from Cambridge. Yeah, exactly. British people can go have a cup of tea. Uh, oh, Alex asked the word uh, about this word, British pronunciation too. Yeah. Well, I think uh, in America we say schedule, and many British people also say schedule. Uh, however, the traditional, very rich aristocratic British person would say schedule, schedule. Uh, it's a very he heavy uh, schedule. It's not even an SH. It's, a, it's kind of hard to explain, but schedule, schedule, something like that. Oh, yes. Oh, Santa, you do not sound like an Anglophile. Yeah, I think uh, once again, even if you're a con uh, if you're talking with uh, European people, British people, of course, too, and you use the American pronunciation, uh, you'll be safe. British people will understand you because of the uh, Hollywood pop songs, television shows. Um, but if you use the British pronunciation uh, in America, people kind of look at you strange. Uh, and they they're like wow and and they don't really listen to you they just listen to your accent uh so i do recommend uh for international travel wherever it is um i do recommend the american pronunciation but the british pronunciation can be quite interesting actually it's very possible to have much fun with it oh yes next question about anything oh i have a question sure. yes sir uh, I, I don't get uh, the title of DDM201, CDXCIX. Yes. What does that mean? What does this mean? Okay, so let me go back to uh, Mustafa. Do you know anything about Roman numerals? A little bit. So how do we say one? One is I. Yep. And two is what? Two, uh, two I. That's I right. Think. I I. What about five? Five I V. No no no. Five is V. V. Just V. Yep. That's right. And four. Four. I V. Yeah. Okay. I uh, what about 10? I don't know. That's okay. It's it's X. And what about 11 is XI. I. And 9 would be IX. Uh, what about 50? Who can tell me what 50 uh, is? I can tell L. That's right. Very good. And 100? C. And 500? D. And 1,000? 
M. There you go. So, what is CD? Uh, CD. It's like 200. Maybe. No. No. D, D is maybe. 500. 400. 400. 400, yes. Mm -hmm. right. 400. Mm -hmm. What is X, XC? 90. 90. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to get rid of some of these so we get some space here. XC is 90. And what is IX? It's 9. 9. So, C, D, X, C, I, X is what? Five hundred. Four hundred ninety-nine. Do you see that, Mustafa? Yeah, I yes. got it. Yeah, this is the crazy uh, Roman numerals, and they used this until finally the Arabic language gave us the zero, and uh, and then finally we started using the Arabic numerals. We switched from the Roman numerals to the Arabic numerals uh, because of the zero. And uh, now it seems so organized, but it was very confusing in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So the title is Let's Celebrate My 499th Together. That means let's celebrate my 499th birthday together. I want you to join me. That's the idea. So, Mustafa, if I live to be 499, are you going to come to my birthday party? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Mustafa, how old are you? Well, I'm 33. 33. So you're still pretty young. Would you like to live, if possible, to 500? Why not? Really? Yeah. But not, not as... Uh, 500. Not as a 500-year-old human body, right? Boring. <laughs> yeah. If you can keep your body and your mind as it is now, being 500 might be okay, right? Right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think most people agree with that. Very good. Next question. Santa says she would not want to live until 500. Uh, thump, punch, pound, slap. Mm, I actually, I, I need a video camera for this. I don't have my video camera hooked up. Uh, thump, punch, pound, and slap. Uh, oh, gosh, don't add more. Are you serious? Okay. Uh, so thump, uh, thump would be one quick hit. So you can thump the desk. Uh, you can, uh, what else do we thump? We thump the desk. Uh, you can thump something with your knee. So if you, if you like knee somebody in the butt, you can thump them. And we can actually say, actually say thump their rump. Rump is a butt. Uh, so thump. Thump is kind of a heavy, solid hit. It's not really painful. If you hit somebody, if you thump somebody, it doesn't really hurt, but uh, it wakes them up. Um, yeah, if, uh, if something falls on the floor like a cat or something heavy, but it doesn't bounce, we can say thump. Okay, so uh, if you drop a big piece of meat onto the ground, it goes thump. And that's the idea of a thump. Uh, if, you, if you hit somebody uh, in their butt, where all that skin is, it's like a, a thump, a thump, okay? A punch, this is more painful, and a punch is with your fist. So if you punch somebody, you can punch them in the face, punch them in the stomach, punch them in the arm, and the intent is to hurt them. To pound is also like to punch but it's not necessarily as painful, and usually it has a, a feeling of repetition. So not just once, but several times. So my brother was pounding me. 
He was hitting me in my arm. It didn't feel good, but uh, it didn't hurt too bad. And to slap, that's with an open hand. So that, that sound with your open hand is a slap. Pout, like that. Punch, like that. And thump, well, something like that. If a bunch of your friends uh, smack, smack would be the same as pound or hit. Smack would be the same as pound or hit, to smack somebody. To smack somebody, that also means one time. So pound, once again, has the idea of several times, but uh, smack, especially just one time. Is that good, Mikhail? Yes, it's good. It's uh, very clear for me. Very good, very good. Uh, when you see punch, when you say punch, uh, yes. you mean that uh, use uh, your hand? Yes, generally a punch is with your fist. With your fist. Oh, yes. All right. We call, we call that uh, box. A boxer's punch, exactly. Boxer's punch. That's what boxers do. They punch. He has a great right punch and a strong left punch. Uh-huh. So when you're watching a boxing match, you can say, wow, did you see that punch? That was a great punch. Got it. It doesn't have to be short, but it's a strong hit, yes. Uh, some punches are huge. Especially in boxing, of course. It's like uh, Mike Tyson. Yeah, oh, God. Mike Tyson had a deadly punch. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good point, Santa. Uh, you can punch a button. So when you go to the bank and you do the ATM with your finger, you're punching the buttons with your finger. Bump, 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 bump. You're not hurting them, of course, but you're punching them. You do not want to pound the buttons at an ATM. If you pound the buttons, you're using your fist. So punch your pin. Punch in your pin. Use your finger and do 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 your your uh, pin number, your personal identification number. Yeah, if you guys have questions, write your question in the chat room first, and then, I'll, then I can pick you. Otherwise, we have too many people. Alex, go ahead. Okay. Question, uh, question. Uh, can I say I take on a little bit weight? Uh, uh, take off a little bit. Okay, yeah. So I, um, I, you need to take off some weight. Uh, I, took, I took on some. I took on some pounds. I took on I took on about five kilograms. Yeah, it's possible. Um, in America, we almost always say put on. Okay, I put on about five five kilograms. Uh, it took on is possible, but I don't like it. I recommend not using that. Uh, I strongly yeah, recommend okay. put on. Put on. Okay. Thank you. And uh, the second question, I read. Um, Mm, uh, sentence like uh, boy was I nervous but it uh, not a question no it wasn't and uh, uh, no, yes boy was I nervous and I want to know why the author used this structure was I nervous but it, uh, it is not a question no but no it's a great it's a good question it's a great point uh, the other day on E cubed, I I, t I taught the expression um, I need a vacation, and I do need a vacation. Um, by adding do, we're emphasizing it. And the same thing here. Um, I was nervous. Oh, was I nervous? It's emphasizing the situation. So. Uh, let's let's do this. Uh, that was a delicious meal. Alex, emphasize how delicious it was. Maybe uh, 
was that a delicious meal? Good. Now, your intonation is wrong, but the sentence was right. So, that was... Was that del... No, no, I'll give it... Was that delicious... Mm, I'll give it to you. That was a delicious meal can become, was that a delicious meal? So we got to go, I can't, see, I don't like this new go-to meeting. It doesn't let me draw. But was that a delicious meal? That's how we change it. So once again, listen carefully. That was a delicious meal. Was that a delicious meal? Actually, the same words are emphasized, but the order is different and the, the, the feeling is much stronger. Okay. Was that a delicious meal? Very good. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You bet. Uh, um, Got to go back to the chat room here. No other questions? Good. I don't believe you guys. No other questions from DDM 201, 202, 203, 204. You guys are geniuses. Fantastic. Now, let's do some role play. I hope that you guys want to do some role play. Um, we're going to, first of all, I'm going to do Seinfeld from 202. Uh, we're going to do this one. George and Gary, first scene here. Um, and let me see. Oh, well, I'll take volunteers first. Uh, who wants to be George? I don't mind. Okay, Mustafa is George. Sergey, you will be Gary. Are you guys ready? Uh, how many figures do we have now? How many what? Figures do we have now? How many gays? The gays. The gays. Uh, Sergeys. <laughs> how many Sergeys? I think uh, in this hangout we only have one, uh, but all together three. You are the Sergey I'm talking to. Okay. <laughs> I heard, how many gays do we have? That's so terrible. <laughs> you know, it's a, not a bad question, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm for homosexuality, absolutely, yeah. Oh, why not? Okay, Mustafa is George, Sergey is Gary. Go for it, guys. You put a screen, I don't see the screen. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bert. I need to change the screen. Thank you. Uh, All right. Wait a second, hold up. And okay, go for it. Go for it, Mustafa. All right, I'm gonna move my. I'm gonna move my car. My meters up. Can't park in this city. Hey, George. Listen, you know the company I work for. They own a parking lot around the corner. What? That's a Kenny lot. Yeah, and there's a space uh, open up, and I could get it for you. You just pay. Uh, you just have to pay the tax on it. It'd be like uh, fifty a month. Fifty bucks a month? That's incredible. Okay, thanks. All right, I got lunch. All right. You still owe me a secret. <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, there's something I haven't told you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, you can tell Jim. What? You think I tell Jim everything? It's not like it's not like he's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the thing is, uh, I've been living a lie. This one? I'm living like a twenty. What's <laughs> yours? Uh, well, <laughs> I um, I never actually had cancer. I'll see you. <laughs> Great job, guys. Great job. Uh, I'm going to get you a couple of things, both of you guys, with all right. So first of all, let's go to Mustafa first. Give me the perfect pronunciation with the L and the R. All right. All right. Very good. Now, Mustafa, if we say it faster, which sound? Go ahead. All right. There, I like it. That was great. All right, I'm going to move my car. 
I'm going to move my car. Very good, very good. Let me go to Sergey too. Yeah, Sergey, let's get that too. Perfect pronunciation, all right. And then faster. All right, I got lunch, all right? All right, I got lunch, all right? Yeah, you're, yeah, the fast pronunciation was great. Let's get this one too, Sergey. Just, I just want to make sure we got the D in there. You just, you just have to pay the tax on it. You just have to pay tax on it. You okay, go. you just pay to have the tax on it. Oh, you, you know, my D uh, tax, uh, maybe we can skip D sound, you know, the article D. It's possible, yes, it is. You know what, actually, the D, the H, the V, these are all possible to skip. However, uh, we do have have to with the uh, special have to spelling. So in that situation, we're probably going to keep the H. Uh, and in this case, uh, it's more of a stop D than a cancellation. You just have to pay. You just have to pay. Yeah, okay. You just have to pay. Uh, Shane, uh, but I was thinking about uh, the tax, you know. Can we skip uh, the tax, pay tax? Ah, uh, you mean can we skip the? Yeah. Yes, we can. Uh, why does he have the? Why does he include the? Yes, yes. It's my, actually, it's my question, you know. Very good. So what's the difference if we have the or if we cancel the? The meaning will, every, everybody will understand. Um, there's tax on everything. And in New York City, if you buy gum, there's tax. If you buy a house, there's tax. If you buy a car, there's tax. Uh, so there's all types of different taxes. There's sales tax, there's income tax, there's value-added tax, there's city tax, there's uh, parking taxes, environmental taxes, gasoline taxes. Uh, in this case, so if we don't have the, it could be just any tax. But by using the, he's referring to a specific tax, and in this case, it would be property tax. So that's what the refers to in this case, property tax. Okay? Okay. Good question. Intonation, Mustafa. Uh, there, uh, no, uh, this is Gary. Yeah, Gary's line, intonation. There is something I haven't told you. Sergey? Yeah, uh, there is something I haven't told you. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. That is a little bit stronger. And then Mustafa, you got it the second time, yeah? Um, and Mustafa, give me, give me this line again. I'm looking like 20. Very good, very good. So we can say 20 and 20. Excellent job. Mustafa, are you married? Yeah. Do you tell your wife everything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing. Sergey, I know you're married. Sergey, do, oh, go ahead, Mustafa. I couldn't hear you. The the sound is breaking up a bit. You know, Shane, I tell my wife uh, everything about clocks, but nothing about my private life. Sergey, you don't have a private life. Actually, uh, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I suck. Oh, I suck. Mm. No, I'm teasing, Sergey. It's the same with me. Um, yeah, I don't have a private life. <laughs> you, you know, sometimes you ask some kind of psychologist, but you, you, you know, very brutal psychologist, yeah. <laughs> Always telling the truth, only naked or That's... wicked truth, whatever. Yeah, the truth is... Uh... The truth is naked, and the truth is not nice. Not always. But, you know, you have to say it. Go for it. Oh, I think so. I, I, you know, that's why living a lie, what a horrible life to have to remember every lie. <laughs> you guys did really good. Very good, Mustafa. Very good, Sergey. Thank you. Let me go to my next group here. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Shane. Thank you. Ah, I am nothing. I am nothing. I'm just a, I'm just a wheel. You guys are the engine. 
Uh, let's go to the next one here and get rid of George's lovely picture. Uh, we need, uh, oops, flipped it. Cool, there we go. Come on. Okay, uh, we got uh, George, Jerry, Elaine, just a little bit of a, uh, Elaine and Kramer. So we got everybody here. Uh, so let's see, we had uh, Mustafa and Sergey. This time, I'm going to go in order. I'll pick. Uh, Mikhail, I want you to be Kramer. Miguel, I want you to be George. Ingrid, I want you to be Elaine. And Max Heisenberg, I want you to be Jerry. Go for it, guys. Miguel. Go ahead, Ingrid. So he refused to tell you where he got the classes? I thought he refused. Yeah, isn't that just like him? You know, he has to be the only one who has them. Yeah, tell me about it, so sister. Anyway, I told Jake that uh, you said hi. What? You told Jake is I said hi? Yeah. No, no, Kramer, you don't oh, understand. Up, up, up here, up here, up here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Why did you tell him? I, I said hi. I never said hi. When did I say hi? I never heard him say hi. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's common courtesy. No, no, Kramer, you don't understand. He made the last contact between us. I had the upper hand and the post break up relation. Uh, <laughs> Religion. That's okay. Keep can going. I, can I? Can I? Can I start again? Sure. 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 No. No, Kramer. You don't understand. He made the last contact between us. I had the upper hand in the post-breakup relationship. If he thinks I said that I said hi, then I lose the upper hand. It's like a game of tag. Where are you going? Nowhere. Are you going to the bookstore to see Jake Jermail, aren't you? So, what if I do? Yeah, well, listen. If I am going there, maybe you can get him to tell you where he got those glasses, Elaine. Hey, how is it going, Gary? I'm fine, I'm fine. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you look like something's on your mind. No, nothing. Fine. Oh, that's your broken face. My regular face. No, it isn't. I've seen your regular face. That is not it. What do you say? All right, George, come on. What do you got? I got nothing. What do you got? A pair of bullets? <laughs> what are you talking about? Two pair? Three of kind? What is happening? Oh my god, you got a flash? You're holding a flash? <laughs> I don't have a flash. A full house? You got a full house? Turn them over. Josh, I want to see him. Come on, I'm calling. What do you got? Turn <laughs> back the man, cancer! Wow. wow! Great job, you guys! My goodness, my goodness, that was fantastic. Everybody did great. Uh, the acting was really good. Even Mikhail, and Mikhail is a non-actor, but that was actually really good, Mikhail. Let me go back to Ingrid. Glasses. Glasses. Yes, more of an ah. Uh, he refused to tell you where he got the glasses. He re so he re hmm. so he refused to tell you where he got the glasses. 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 There you go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, Mikhail. I need more acting this time. Tell me about it, soul sister. 
Tell me about it, Soul Sister. <laughs> no, no. Soul Sister, now what does this mean, Mikhail? Tell me what it means. Mikhail. I can say my ideas. Okay, Mikhail, do you have a friend? Yes, I have some friend. Okay, what's the name of your best friend? What's his name? I don't know. Oh, come on. Think no. about it. Listen, I I know about this definition of this. No, I know, I know. It's yes. not about definition. I want feeling. I want feeling. So when you say soul sister, I don't feel soul sister. Tell me about it, soul sister. I want feeling, Mikhail. Tell me about soul sister. <laughs> okay, that's a little better. Do you have a soul sister? Do you have a, a girl, a woman that's like a best friend like your sister? No. No. Yeah. Do you think it's possible? <laughs> yes, I think it's possible. Think so? Okay. Okay. Now the next one, I think it's possible. The TH. Gotta get that TH. I told you, uh, anyway, I told Jake that you said hi. I, I told Jake that you said hi. Good. I told Jake that you said hi. I told Jake that you said hi. Perfect. And then Jerry's line. I never heard her say hi. I never heard her say hi. I never heard her say hi. Good. Oh. Now, lots of people have a hard time with the H here. So, we can get rid of the H. Seven H's. Heard her. Heard her. Okay. I never heard her say hi. Good. Now, another thing with especially Russian students, hair. It's like a hair, hair. I don't want that. It's much shorter. Her, her. So this is heard, her, herder, herder. Can you try that? Herder, herder. I like herder. it. Herder. I never heard her say hi. Excellent job. That was much better. Okay, let me go to... Ingrid. Now, Ingrid, your contact pronunciation was great the second time. You had the ah, contact. I want to hear more of a TH in both of these. And if you look, it's a D-TH combination for both. So let's get that a little bit more clearly. He, ma he made the last. He made the last contact. Good. Even more TH. Let's just do the TH. The. The last the last the let's yes let's just do the th let's make it long the the he made the he made the last longer th he made the he made the that was great he made the last he made the last sounds much better last last yes yes last glasses the Last glasses. Sounds Last. better. There you. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do the other one. I had the upper hand. I had the upper hand. Yes, yes. So uh, for Ingrid today, especially keep that the th. I want to hear that vibration the and the short a sound. Okay. The last. 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 Yes. Perfect. Let me go to Jerry's line. Uh, you're going to the bookstore to see Jake Jarmel, aren't you? You're going to the bookstore to see Jake Jarmel, aren't you? Oh, you're yeah, good. Very good. That was great. Let me go to Mikhail. If you're going there. If you're going there. Good. A little bit more R, Mikhail. If you're going there. If you're going there. Oh, watch the TH. If you're going there. If you're going there. Good. And this one, Elaine. Elaine. <laughs> Great job, Mikhail. Very good. Oh, and, and, and uh, Miguel and Max, you killed it at the end. Great job. Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, I'm going to close this. Any questions on 202? I'm going to go to 203. Any questions? Good. Opening up 203. This time we want Gustavo. Gustavo and Julia. Oops.
What's going on here? Can I ask, please? Hold on a second. Uh, Mustafa, did you have a question? Yep. Yes, go ahead. Uh, is there uh, uh, another word to the to the vocabulary opening up? Uh, what do you mean, opening up? Yep, opening up. Uh, which situation was it? And was that in in, in Seinfeld there? Yes. There is a uh, space opening up. Ah, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Opening. There's a space opening up. That's right. Um, did I have it again? Is there an, another word or, or uh, is there another usage to this word? Uh, no, that's a, that's a great question. Let me think about that. There's a space opening up. Yeah, there's a job opening up. Instead of opening up, we just do say uh, becoming available, will become available, will become free. Um, I really think this, and I did think about that. I think this is the best synonym. So once again, uh, there's a job opening up. There's a position opening up. There's a position that will be available. There's a, there's a, ah, we could also say there's a new position, but sometimes it's not new. Do you understand? It's just an old position. Somebody retired. So sometimes we could say new. So actually this is a, a great expression and I used it the other day. Right now in our DDM VIP, uh, we have one position opened, that's opened up, that has opened up. Uh, one position available. It's not a new position. Uh, somebody uh, stopped, so there's a new position. So yeah, it's it's. I just used the expression the other day. Um, so yeah, it's a great phrasal verb. Very good phrasal verb. What's the opposite? Closed or shutting down? Not available. Yes, that's the opposite. Not available or filled. The position is filled, the parking spot is filled, or even sold. Sold is possible too. We have to consider the situation. So for a parking space, uh, there's, a, there's a spot opening up. Oh, no, it's sold. Somebody bought it. That would be the opposite. So we can't actually say closing down. Closing down means what? Who can tell me what closing down means? It's like, I think, shutting down. Yes, the business is closing its doors. Shutting down, right? So the opposite of this is opening up. A new business is opening up, but it's different. The meaning is different here. Do you see that? I can see that. Yes, yes. So this is a really important point, everybody. Opening up can mean a new business is opening up, but it can also mean a position is becoming available, a position is becoming free. These are different meanings. So in this case, the business is opening up. The opposite is the business is closing down. Yes. But when we're talking about a position is free or available opening up, then the opposite is not available or, or filled and sometimes even sold. So these usages are very different. Okay. Great question, Mustafa. As, uh, I have another question. Go ahead. Is there a difference if you if we're saying uh, not available or unavailable? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Somebody asked about that too. Um, now, uh, basically, they do mean the same thing. However, sometimes they're different. So it's not available. Um, it, uh, you can't get it uh, in your country, for example. Um, so 
for example, uh, Mustafa, you know Amazon, right? Yep. Is Amazon available in your country? No, it's yeah, not it's, available. It's not available, that's right. Um, so in that case, uh, it's not available. It's perfect. Unavailable is not exactly right. Unavailable usually means temporary. Um, so, so for example, uh, out of stock. Let's say, let's say you call, uh, you call my company, and you say, uh, "Can I speak to Shane?" Shane's not available. Shane's unavailable. In this situation, it could mean the same thing, but Shane's not available. That means I'm gone. I'm someplace else. Shane's unavailable probably means I'm in a meeting. Call back in five minutes. So if somebody said Shane's not available, I'll say, I'll call back in a couple of days. But if somebody said Shane's unavailable, I'd probably call back in 20 minutes. So which is common? Oh, they're Use. both very common. I use them both. Um, so once again, Mustafa, the first thing to remember is we use them both uh, in the similar situations, even the same situation. But if we want to get into the deeper part, uh, they can be different. They can actually be used in different situations. And so, I use okay. Go ahead. Well, so what situation do you want to use it in? Uh, if my friend is abroad, yep. could I use not available? Yeah, so your friend's name is John. Uh, hey, Mustafa, can I talk to John? No, he's not available. Oh, what, where, where did he go? He's traveling in... Exactly. That's exactly Some... right. Yeah, he's traveling in France or whatever. Exactly. That's exactly right. Okay, you could say he's unavailable, uh, but if you said he, he's, he's unavailable, I might say, oh, uh, when can I call back? Do you understand? Oh. Yep, I got it. Okay, I hope that helps. Once again, uh, to everybody, uh, many Americans will use these two expressions the same way. However, if you want to get into the deep meaning, yes. They really can be a little bit different. Yeah, unavailable is in the bathroom. Not available is in France. <laughs> now it's very sense. Oh, I hope so. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm going to close this. And let's go to Starbucks here once again. Uh, so... Two answers, two of three. So once again, let me see if I can remember my list here. Uh, we want Matt, no. We want Gustavo to start. Guria, the second paragraph. George, the next paragraph. And Berta, the last par paragraph please. And once again, I'm changing things. I want this to be in, not on. Please pronounce the S strong, stronger than I did. And don't forget, we're adding the word of in this situation. So three things I want you to change if you're reading from your script. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Gustavo, please. Okay. Uh, Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz has a reputation for tackling tough issues from same-sex marriage to gun control, and now is talking on race relations. Schultz has started a campaign to encourage talk about issues, and is urging Starbucks barista to broach the topic with uh, their customers. Uh, Gustavo, I'm sorry. Uh, can you start from this one more time, please? Shaw had started a campaign to encourage talk about issues and is urging Starbucks barista to broach the topic with their customers. Good job, very good. Kulia.
Guli, are you there? Uh oh. Gulia's microphone is not working properly. Gulia, go steal your husband's computer. Give give your daughter to your husband and tell your husband to take care of your daughter and use his computer. <laughs> yes, Berta. <laughs> I can change. Oh, okay, go ahead, Gulia. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. The initiatives was just a second. The initiative was launched on Sunday with a full page and uh, just a second. Why her echo? Uh it might be your computer speakers. Yeah, when you use two computers in the same house, uh the chance of an echo is really good. Sorry, Pachi. Let me yep. try again, okay? Yeah. Okay. I, I understand why the problem, because my earrings <laughs> was also on me, and I heard my voice uh, like echo. <laughs> okay. Okay. The initiative was launched on Sunday with a full page ad in the New York Times featuring the text, Shall We Wake Up? And the slogan, Race Together Against the Black Background. One much like it was published in Monday's edition of USA Today. What are said the coffee shops with the handwriting the slogan on the card there serve? Very good. Next is George. George is George has fallen asleep. The microphone is off, George. You have to click your microphone again. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. <laughs> George, are you there? All right, I know Ber I know Beth is waiting for the last one. Let me do uh Andre, take over George's spot here. George, if you're talking, use your uh chat room. Maybe there's a, a connection problem, George. Oh, George got his mic on now. Hello? Oh, hi, George. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Can you read oh. this section, please? Yes. In a video release company-wide, Scott explains, if a customer asks you what this is, try and engage in a discussion that we have problems in this country with regard to race and racial inequality. And what we believe we're better than this, and we believe the country is better than this. Great job, very good, George. And finally, Berta. The initiative was discussed with thousands of employees prior to its implementation, particularly those who are in areas greatly affected by recent issues and resultant tensions. Workers are not being required to participate in the campaign. Great job. Very, very good. Let me go back to the top here. First of all, to Gustavo. Gustavo, Howard. Howard Schultz. Oh, Gustavo, your microphone is off. It's confusing. On, off, on, off. I know. Gustavo is sleeping. It's late. Gustavo's in Spain. Sergey's in Germany, Santa's in the UK, Mustafa's in Iraq, Mikhail, Belarus, Miguel, Spain, Ingrid, Germany, Heisenberg is in Sochi, Gustavo's in Spain, Guria, Alex, Andre are in the Moscow area, George is in Los Angeles, Berta is in Alabama, and Coach Shane, I'm everywhere. <laughs> Gustavo, go, uh, so say it again, Gustavo. Howard Schultz. Howard Schultz. Good. Has a reputation. Has a reputation. Good. Uh, did you see my PB video, Gustavo? 
Mm, no, no, uh, I can. Sacre bleu. I can to I... see you about P on and B. Yeah, so what we're going to take you to that, I'm going to take you to my uh, page here. www.youtube.com slash Coach Shane's ESL. Coach Shane's ESL, uh, our new video is right here. Yes, yes. P and B. I want you to watch that and make sure you practice, okay? Okay, okay. All right, let's do this again. Okay. Howard Schultz has a reputation. Howard Schultz has a reputation. Howard Schultz has a reputation. Much better. Schultz has started a campaign. Schultz has started a campaign. Good, let's do that again. Schultz has started... Short has has started. Okay. Has 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 good. Has started. Has started. Good. Schultz has started. Schultz has started. Perfect. Schultz has started a campaign. Schultz has started a campaign to encourage talks. To encourage talks. About the issue. About the issues. Good. And it's just issue, not issues. About the issue. The issues. No S. The issue. <laughs> the issue. <laughs> Perfect. Baristas. Baristas. Good. Be careful with the R. Not barista. No. Baristas. Barista. Baristas. What is that? Good. Topic. Topic. With there. With there. Good job. Broach the topic with their customers. Broach the topic with their customers. Much, much better, Gustavo. Much better. Let's try the last sentence again. This is not easy. Let's try it. Schultz has started a campaign to encourage talks about the issue and is urging Starbucks baristas to broach the topic with their customers. Now hold on a second. Schultz has started a campaign, I'll put this in one group, to encourage talks about the issue, this is another group, and is urging Starbucks baristas, this is another group, to broach the topic, I'll make this another group, with their customers like that. So do it uh, section by section there. Try that. Okay. Shall I start? Shall I start it, a study campaign to encourage talk about the issue, and is urging Starbucks barista to broach the topic with the customers? Sounds much better. the The flow was good. I'm missing a couple of s's, but it sounded much better. You keep practicing like that, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. Let me go to Gulia. Uh, this one too, Guya, you read it too fast. So let's start from featuring and let's go up to together. Try this again, Guya. Mm, once again, we have a bad connection. Guya, I can't hear you. Interesting situation sometimes happens. Uh, they're cleaning. That might be it. So hi, Coach. Okay, go ahead, Guria. Try it again. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, uh, Guria, you need to turn off speakers. Sorry, sorry, Coach. Okay, go ahead. Some. Uh -huh. Featuring the text, shall we overcome, and the slogan, race together. Okay, it's not too bad, but once again, we need to make sure that this sounds different. So, let's do it again. Featuring the text, shall we overcome, and the slogan, race together, against a black background. Featuring the text, shall we overcome, and the slogan, race together, against the against the black background.
It sounded much better. I know Camille, Camila says no, but yes, it sounded much, much better. Uh, we need to set that off, and by changing the tone, by bringing it down, it's much easier. Okay, that was very good. Let's go to this one. Workers at the coffee shops. Workers at the coffee shops. Will be handwriting the slogan. Will be handwriting the slogan. On the cups they serve. On the cups they serve. Okay, so once again, this is about rhythm. This is one group. This is another group. This is another group. Try it again. Try the sentence again, the whole sentence. Workers at the coffee shops will be handwriting the slogan on the cups they serve. That's exactly right. So this rhythm is actually very important. It's not easy, mm -hmm. but you have to think about it. You have to think about it. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Let me go to George. George, start Hi. us off again here. In a video release company-wide. Good. George, do you know the old movie called RoboCop? Yes, of course. You sound like RoboCop. <laughs> wow. That's, that's bad, huh? Well, no, you don't sound very human. <laughs> so, so okay, let me, try, let me try one more. Okay, in okay. A, in a video release company-wide. Much better. It really does sound better. So let's do this. I'm kind of panicked. Oh, I know. It's your first time. It makes it's you nervous. It's my first right? time. Yeah. Yep. So let's do this. Repeat after me, please. In a video release company-wide, Schultz explains. In a video release company-wide, Schultz explains. Good. Now, this is, a, uh, this is actually a pretty common name in America. It's German, and the pronunciation is like Schultz. Schultz. Schultz yeah. Good, good. So I, let's keep, keep repeating after me, okay? Okay. If a customer asks you what this is, if a customer asks you what this is. No, no, no. Listen care. Listen to my intonation. If a customer asks you what this is. If a customer asks you what this is. Okay. Uh, try and engage in a discussion. Try and engage in a discussion. Okay, good. So let's look at this section. Um, grammatically, what word are we missing? Anybody? We're missing something for you grammar Nazis. Uh, this is, I think it's wrong or not? Yet. Yet. And why he is, uh, uh, he said this is and uh, instead of is this. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, I'll explain, I'll explain. But that's not what we're missing. I will explain. That's a good. That's a good point. We're missing something else. Him, engage him. Okay. Uh, I'll accept that. But we're missing something more important. Then. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I like the idea of him. Uh, I like him too. But especially then. We're missing the then. Okay? So we're going to get rid of that. Now, uh, but let me ask you. Did he say then yes or no? Yes, he did. How did he say then? Because we didn't hear it. He says then by how he says this word. Okay? And this is what he does. If a customer asks you what this is, no, 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 no. If a customer asks you what this is, that means then. I'm not joking. Seriously. If a customer asks you what this is, try and engage in a discussion. Okay, so this is actually really important, uh, this flow, because it tells us that's the then. George, does that make sense? Uh, kind of. Okay, so let's, let's practice this. 
Um, so try this sentence. You want me to say? Yes. If, if Shane tells you to repeat, tell him no. Good. Are we missing them? Yes. Yes, we are. We should have a then right there, right in that green spot, right in that gray spot, right? Correct. So, instead uh, of then, we can make this word say then. How do we make this word say then? Repeat. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect, exactly. Repeat, exactly. Repeat. So, oh. so try it again. Try it again, George. If Shane tells you to repeat... Oh, that, sounded, that sounded much better, yep. You still need more. You still need a little bit more, George, but it sounded much, much yeah. better. Okay? I need to make it a little bit longer on the re uh, repeat. You, yes, and it's not just longer, but it's that up and down. Repeat, repeat. Repeat. Yes, that was much, much better. So let's go back here. If a customer asks you what this is, try and engage in a discussion. If a customer asks you what this is, try and engage in a discussion. Much, much better, much better. Um, now, if a customer asks you, this is what? No, we would never say that. If a customer asks you, is this what? No, we would never say that. If a customer asks you what this is, that's what we would say for this situation. Um, Shane asks you... And quotations is correct, but let's get rid of the quotations. Anybody, how do we change the sentence? Yeah, if uh, Shane asks you about your age, ah, whatever. Uh, how? Ah, okay. Great. Okay. Okay, so we have two forms. If we want to quote Shane, then we have to say exactly what Shane said. If Shane asks you, how old are you? Then, da da da, then tell him, you know, uh, 45, whatever. Uh, but we can do the same thing without quotes. If Shane asks you how old you are, then tell him 45. Let's do another one. If Shane asks uh, how many people live there, dot, dot, dot. Now, how do we change this sentence? If Shane asks, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, this is a, I'm giving you a horrible example. Uh, I have to think of another example. Um, there we go. I have to have you. I have to have you. Okay, go ahead. This is a tough one. This is where we need to focus, right there. How many people you invited? Excellent job. How many people you invited? invited. Exactly. Great job. Very, very good. So this is a way of, of oh, I forgot the term. Um, I forgot the term. Do you know the term, Mustafa? You sound like you might know your grammar really well. Reported speech. Uh, reported speech. I believe that's the term. Is that right? I think so. 
I think that's I think that's what it is. Yes, uh, reported speech. Um, so this is what we're doing is we're using reported speech, and I'm not a grammar teacher. Uh, so you know, there's probably a better teacher to talk about that. However, yeah, that's sure. yes. You're not a grammar teacher, and uh, stop teaching grammar. What? Stop doing it, you know. Why <laughs> For God's sake. Well, no, it's a good point. I, actually, Sergey, I do agree with you. Um, uh, Santa says Sergey's insane. No, actually, I do agree. Uh, I don't people... give a fuck about reported speech, not reported speech. What? <laughs> Sergey, PG-13. Uh, but, but, but the question was legitimate, um, so I want to try and give an answer. But yes, one thing that's really important for you guys is when it comes to grammar, I know you studied a lot in school, and I don't want you to forget it. Some people love the grammar, but I do want you to relax a little bit. But that, that is a legitimate question, and there is a reason to the, uh, there is a method to the mayhem, as we say. Uh, and reported speech is what it is. Okay, uh, let, let me go back to George, get that R pronunciation. With regard to race, with regard to race, and we believe we're better. And we believe we're better. Good. Now we're the perfect pronunciation here. We're. we're. Good. And the typical pronunciation were. Were. Great job. We believe the country is better. We believe the country is better. Good job, RoboCop. Oh, still sounds like a RoboCop. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you next time, okay? It was okay, really okay. good. Good job. Let me go to Berta. Berta, no problem. You just let the S out here. With thousands of employees. With thousands of employees. Perfect. Give me more of a Z in this one. Let's go, uh, let's start here, Berta. Affected by recent issues and resulting tensions. So is that a Z sound? Yes, it's a Z sound. That's right. Confusing. Okay. Um, where do you want me to read from? Okay. Affected. Affected by recent issues and resulting tensions. Perfect, perfect. And Bertha, your pronunciation was absolutely fine. You said campaign, which is great. I just want everybody to know that sometimes we say campaign, sometimes we say campaign, which is what Bertha said, and many times many Americans do say campaign, the same intonation on both syllables. That is not common. It's not common, but if you remember in Seinfeld, we studied the word maintain. Maintain your disposition. Maintain the same disposition. This word also has the same intonation for both syllables, usually. So these two words, campaign, maintain, will use the same intonation on both syllables, usually. It's a very interesting, kind of unique situation. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, let's get, I got Andre and Alex. These gentlemen need to practice, so let me, I'm going to open up another Seinfeld, if you guys don't mind. Um, well, let's ask them. Andre, Alex, do you want to do uh, Seinfeld, or do you want to do the uh, Live to 500? Andre and Alex are sleeping. It's late. I know. There we go. Yeah, th it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't matter. Andre. Yeah. Did, uh... Seinfeld. Oh, good. This is perfect. Then you guys are Jerry and George. So, Andre, you can pick. Uh, Andre, I want you to be George. And Alex, you are Jerry. Are you guys ready? The doctors thought he had cancer, but the surgery revealed he never actually had it. So, what was wrong with him? Nothing. So he's been lying to me for two months? That's right. What kind of person, person is this? 
There's only one other person who might be able to do something like this, and that's you. Well... I didn't even think you could do it. No, I could do it. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could. No. <laughs> Do you know he was so worried about losing more hair if he had to chemotherapy treatments? I bought him an unlimited gift certificate at the hair team for men. Just to put his mind at easy. Just, just to put his mind at easy? You did that? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to talk to this guy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't say anything. Why not? Because he'll know I told you. Besides, he's given me a parking spot around the corner for practically nothing. Sir, so telling me because you're getting free parking, I got to pretend this guy had cancer when he didn't? Yeah. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. And I'm supposed to see him tomorrow. Yeah, well, you have to maintain the same disposition too. You can't start acting any differently. You have to be nice. Why didn't, why didn't you tell me? Because you were being so nice. I don't think I can be that nice. You'll be nice. All right, very good. Alex, you didn't study. Yeah, Cochin. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> sorry, Alex. I'm, but, you know, Gulia, no, I want you to attack your husband. I want you to Cochin, attack your I'm husband. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what, Alex? I'm sorry because now I told Gulia to, to be tough on you, so I, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh Alex, get that A W sound. Thought. 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 Good. The doctors thought he had cancer. The doctors thought he had cancer. But the surgery revealed It's my line. Uh ah. yeah, Cochena. <laughs> Watashi wa sorry this. I am sorry. Let's go back to Andre. Go ahead. The doctor thought. Oh, I need the S. This is tough. S T H. The doctors thought he had cancer. The doctors thought he had cancer. Good. Do the whole sentence again. The doctors thought he had cancer, but the surgery revealed he never actually had it. Very good. Very good. Now I'll go to Alex. What was wrong with him? What was wrong with him? Good, good. One more time. Be curious. More curious. What was wrong with him? What was wrong with him? Very good, very good. And how do you say this word, Alex? Beam. Oh, you have Beam. one. Okay, so what's the British pronunciation, Alex? Please tell us. So, he's been lying to me for two months. Oh, Alex, that was absolutely wonderful, fantastic. Now, please give us the American speaking ben, 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 oh, yeah. he's been lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. So, in America, we say Ben. He's been lying to me. That's exactly right. Uh, this is... Uh, well, been lying to me for two months. Very good. You sound like an Amerikanski. Try the next one, Alex. Oh, I lost the audio for Alex. Uh, I want you to emphasize is. What kind of person is for two months? Alex, we have a really bad audio connection. Can you try Gulia's computer? <laughs> Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. I can't hear your husband. Cochen, can you hear me? Yes. 
Yeah, go ahead. Try this sentence, Alex. <laughs> oh boy. What kind of person is this? Okay, the intonation goes here. What kind of person is this? Is this? What kind of yeah. person is this? Such an evil person. Okay. And let's go here, Alex. Okay. I don't even think you could do it. I don't even think you could do it. Great job. Very good. And let's do this one, too. Did you know, A, just to put his mind at ease? So once again, Alex, I want you to do this. This is the question, everybody. This is a very confusing sentence, but this is it. Did you know this is all A? This is A. Did you know A, just to put his mind at ease? Mm -hmm. Did you know he was so worried about losing my hair if he no, no, had no. to get... I'm sorry, Alex. I, I don't want you to read everything. I just want you to say A. Instead of the gray, just say A. Did you know A just to put his mind at ease? Did you know A just, just to put his mind at ease? Okay, that was good. One more time. Did you know A just to put his mind at ease? Did you know A just to put his mind at ease? There you go. It's okay. That was that much, much better. Just to put his mind at ease. Yes. So this is a good expression. Ease. Put somebody's mind at ease to make them relax. Let's go this one again. Chemo treatments. Chemo treatments. We studied another word. Do you remember? Chemotherapy. Yeah, chemotherapy, yeah. Very good, very good. This is Jerry's line also, the ah. I gotta pretend. Yeah. I gotta pretend. Perfect. Tomorrow. 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 Good. Tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow, Alex? I will maybe I will spend my time in the apartment, I think. Very good, very good. And let me go back to Andre. More W. Because you were being so nice. Because you were being so nice. Oh, more W again. Because you were being so nice. It's your W is really close to a Russian W. I want a, a clearer one. You were, you were, you were, you were. You were. It's too heavy. You were. Because you were. You were. Say it faster. You were. You were. Perfect. Because you were being so nice. Because you were being so nice. Too slow. Try it again. Because you were being so nice. Too slow. You need to say it faster. Because you were being so nice. Still too slow. Because you were being so nice. There you go. You were being. You were being. You were being. You were being. The second time was great. Because you were being so nice. Because you were being so nice. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. And let's go back to uh, Alex. I don't think I can be that nice. I don't think I can be that nice. There you go. There you go. Great job. As always, the acting by Andre was fantastic. And uh, I know Alex has busy. You know, a lot of people are busy these days. The economy is tough. Alex, Gulia have a new member to their family. They're just busy. I understand. Great job, everybody. Very good. Very good. Questions about anything? Kuchen, I want to. I want to tell that I every day I I listen about two hours. English uh, English, English uh, speech yes are you listening to our videos and podcasts or what yeah um, you, you know Kachin. you 
you told me about uh, podcast, podcast, uh, this American Life. Yes. And I every day I try to listen to this. Podcast. That's really good. Now I, let yes. me tell you something though, and this is this is not just for Alex; it's for everybody too. Yes, listening. Uh, I want you guys to listen. Now I know Berta has been listening to. Uh, uh, what was, NPR, Berta, what are you? What did you upload, Berta? You uploaded something the other day. Yeah, uh, uh, VOA and uh, Voice of America. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and VOA. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, what I want to say, uh, not for us, uh, some English second language learners. Yeah, every yeah. single sound is tough for us. Right. So what is helping me? I I've, I've been trying to master every word every sound and we have to go to whatever you like to study with. Uh, sometimes I go to the children's video because Great. I, uh, you know, to study the phonics because I think we have to learn as a children. As a oh, child. no, you're right. Now, and what Berta is saying, everybody, is what I want to say, what's really important. So, now some of you are here just for listening. Okay, and I understand that. However, I'm not joking. Uh, in order to hear it, you have to be able to say it. So if you can say it, you can hear it. So when you're listening, it's really important to repeat. And Bertha is talking about going back to like the children's books and the children's stories. Absolutely, the narrator is going to speak slower. It's going to be a bit easier, but that's really really important stuff. So, Alex, that you're listening to uh, This American Life is great, but I want you to sometimes repeat that stuff too um, and and just practice speaking, practice the at least repeating, yeah. okay? Of course, Kuchin. And uh, to be honest, um, I understand about maybe 30%. <laughs> Thirty percent is pretty uh, good. Yes, and uh, and I try, try, and I trying to repeat, uh, and uh, after after repeating, I understand about fifty percent. Oh, that's great! And uh, there is a story about the blind guy Batman, and wow. uh, you know it was interesting. I from from first time I understand about. 65 <laughs> percent. Oh, that's great. This story is. Yes. That's really the great. Sorry about the guy who used the sounds for. Uh, how to say, orientation? Yes. Ah, oh, there you go. Yep. He's a blind guy, and he clock using his voice like bet. <laughs> so he's able to move around by doing that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's really good. And keep doing that, definitely. But once again, for everybody, uh, keep that speaking up, too. Keep the speaking going. Questions? I had one. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. Uh, could we use the word handling instead of tackling? Uh, tackling a problem, handling a problem? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so the question is uh, to handle something versus to tackle something. And actually it's going to be different, Mustafa. Uh, to handle something means to control or manage, okay? Okay. And to tackle something actually means, uh, it actually means to attack and uh, so? solve. Yes, 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 it means to solve that, okay? Okay. So they're quite similar, and in some situations you might be able to use them the same, but generally I have to say they're different. 
I've considered that. Okay. Great questions. Mustafa's got the great questions today. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just have to say, um, you know, I don't have a PayPal account, so my my friend Bassam, you know, uh, he would pay for me. That's that's so nice. That's really nice of your friend. I, that's you know that, that's that's really cool. I appreciate it. Uh, transferring the, the money to it, you know. Well, I'm so happy that that you and your friend are taking that extra step, that extra time, that extra effort to take the classes. Uh, is your does your friend live in Iraq or in the U.S.? In America. And how is his English? I think it's pretty good. I think. Well, mm. when I call him uh, when I make a call with him. We we don't we don't speak uh, English. We just speak Arabic. Right, right. Of course, of course. <laughs> well, let me know if if he's interested in the classes. Uh, I'll give him a, a a huge discount just for helping you out if he's interested. Well, I think you, you don't have the time. Ah, uh, he's busy. Did he immigrate? Is he a student? What does he do? Um, I think he's an immigrant. Okay, oh. okay, okay. He is an immigrant, yeah. yeah he's, so he's starting a new life. This is right now. Yeah. Uh, for... Uh, I just want to say... Uh, Oh, Mustafa, I can't. I couldn't hear the last part, Mustafa. The the sound uh, faded out. Just uh, uh, take it, take him off, and transfer transferring the 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 folders to me for the classes. Got it. Can you send me an email for that? Okay. Well, I sent you. You know, <gasps> uh, not for the previous season, not right now. Uh, Okay. I um. Did you, did you remember or not? Yeah, I do, but I don't know if um. Oh, I'll send you. Oh yeah, please one more time, one more time, please. Yes, thank you. I'll send you. Okay, I'll send you. When? Just uh, once he pay, I'll send you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So am I. <laughs> You guys did great today. Uh, we had a couple of, uh, this is the first time we talked a lot with Mustafa, which is, which is great. Max finally came, and that was great. Uh, George's first time, uh, it's so happy to have you. We're going to fix George's RoboCop voice. Uh, <laughs> um, Andro who's Android attendee? Who's that? Usually that's Sergey. <laughs> I don't know who Android attended. You know, Sam, my last remark here, yeah? uh, if you're going to teach grammar, uh, I'm going to leave that class. <laughs> okay. I will never, ever, ever, ever teach grammar if you are here. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, Sergey. You guys, thank you very much. Have a fantastic Sunday. And... Uh, or Monday, new week, whatever it is. I know most of you are ready to go to bed. And uh, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. 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 -bye. Thank you, Coach Shane. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Cochain. Thank you.